everybody, this is Steven, and welcome to another part of From Start to Finish with WordPress. Let's just jump right in. This is where we left off. Uh, I had to quit suddenly because I was reaching my 10 minute limit, and it wouldn't refresh. So this is where we left off. We have this almost finished. So today we are going to uh, align this navigation bar correctly, and finish up the styling on that. So let's, uh, let's open up our information about this and just make sure we have everything right. Um, okay, so in here we need to do a few changes. Uh, for the navigation background we're going to need to change this to float right and let's give it some margin right so it's not hugging the side of the, the browser and let's give it, uh, I don't know, 30 pixels and then we also need to style this uh, this header right here which holds the logo and we're going to have to make that a little bit smaller because if we inspect this in uh, Firebug you can see that the header uh, header width wherever that is is a little too wide it goes to about right over here so let's uh, just jump down here and do a pound sign header and we're going to go float left. Let's go with, let's try uh, 220 pixels. Upload that. And let's refresh. Okay, so it's slightly too large. So let's click here and see what works. 212. Okay, that pops it right up at the top. So let's change this to 212. Save. Upload. And let's also give this some margin top, the nav navigation background. So in here I'm just going to right click, go add new property and margin top. Let's try 33 pixels. And we might need less, like 30 pixels. Uh, let's go with 30 pixels and see how that works out. So we're going to go margin top 30 pixels. And then over here, uh, do we have to do anything else? Oh, for A, we want to do text decoration, none. So save, upload, refresh. And we also want to give this a little bit more padding. So let's see, padding top is 20. Let's go with uh, 25. So we also have to change this height to 35. refresh and now it's too low great okay so let's go with uh, 22 and changes to 38 save upload okay that looks good enough for now so now that we have that done uh, I'm gonna skip this little square rotator for now and let's just add a sidebar here so now in WordPress, the sidebar is a separate file. It's called sidebar.php. And wow, let's just ignore all this for now. And we're just going to go to the top of it and do div id equals, and we'll name this sidebar. Close that up. Let's go to the bottom and paste that closing. Um, then come over to your styles and do sidebar float left and the width is 288 all right so we want to give this a width of 288 pixels and yeah float left let's just give it a height just to be safe height auto save it and then let's also have um, main or let's just give this content let's see what that if that'll work and the width is going to be 555 pixels height auto and I see that mistake stop yelling at me 555 and it'll be let's see let's see what float right looks like upload that so now we also need to go to index 
and all right, so it gets the header, and it's saying if we have a post. So this is where that's going to go is uh, div ID equals what do we call it content I believe. Content. Yep. Content. Close that up. Cut that closing tag. And um, let's see. Let's try slapping it right here and see what happens. Upload. And let's just see what that looks like. All right. So that's not bad at all. I don't think. It looks like this is separating the sidebar. And you can see that sidebar and contact. And this right here, I think, is the footer. So let's just throw that footer somewhere as well. So we have page wrap ending. Um, let's do a class of div class equals clear. Close that up. And then do div ID equals footer. And let's close this right over here. Okay, so save that, upload it, and we need to make two two uh, styles, one for footer, one for clear. So right at the top here, I like to put it here, go dot, clear, and we're going to have clear both. And then all the way at the bottom, we're going to have footer. Width is going to be 960. Height auto. And then margin zero auto. So it's centered. Let's see what that looks like if that fixed it. Okay. Very nice. So it threw the footer over on the bottom. Okay. So now we also, let's take a look at here. Let's see what this looks like. It needs a slight gray background. So sidebar, do we have a background color? No, let's just make one up for now. Uh, let's go to the sidebar. And we're gonna go margin left, 15 pixels. Background is going to, let's give it a CCC. And then for content, we're going to have mar margin right, just so it's not hugging the browser again, 15 pixels. Save, upload it. Alrighty, so very cool. It's looking good. So we also probably want to do this. Um, we're gonna do uh, margin top, and we're gonna go. I don't know, thirty pixels just to start with. See what that looks like. And then we're going to do the same thing right here for the content. Margin top 30 pixels. All right, so now it's not touching that bar right there. OK, so we got quite a bit done this tutorial. Uh, we fixed this up here. And we also have this blocked out, the sidebar, the content, and the footer. So next time we can start styling the fonts on the sidebar and the content, and we'll just take it from there. We're moving right along. It shouldn't be too much longer. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.